I picked up this deck and King of Wands at the bottom. Wow. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with the collective in love. Let's see what's going on with the collective. I feel like with that King of Wands. Oh, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the, the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, okay. Are you going to make a player change their game? Someone finds a lot of value in you. Queen of Pentacles again. And the Page of Swords. Okay. Wow. Okay. Either you're going to be speaking your truth or someone's going to be speaking theirs. Queen of Pentacles again. And... The Nine of Swords? Wow, okay. Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Hmm. Give me a message from my collective. What's coming for love with my collective? Tell me about their person, spirit. Give me a message. Who's coming in? The collective's energy. Give me a message. The Page of Cups. Okay. This person is coming in a little immature about their game, but they're also coming in with some kind of offer. Tell me about the collective. How does the collective feel about their person? The sun. You're going to like this. Wow. Okay. And we have the three of cups at the bottom. So definitely celebration, communication, taking time out. I feel like you're going to be very social at this time. You and this person may meet each other at some kind of social events. Okay, and what is the emotions in the current situation? The King of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Okay. Wow. Okay, now both of those cards flew out together. So I'm really feeling like this situation is going to be more stable than you thought. We have the Five of Swords at the in reverse. In the world. Wow. Okay. Collective. This person that's coming in is going to bring a lot of change. But it's going to start out kind of rocky. But it's actually going to turn into a very stable offer. I feel like... Now, what did I say in the beginning? Did you make a player change their game? And I feel like this may be very immature energy. Someone who maybe comes across as very immature, but really, this person is looking for some kind of stability. They're looking for to make a solid offer. Um, so I definitely feel like in the world that could be, you know, things changing. You end in one cycle and begin in another. We have the Ten of Swords there as well. So there's there's a cycle you're ending. Maybe a cycle of being unhappy since you did get the sun card. So there's a cycle that you're ending. Tell me more about this page of cups. Clarify this page of cups for me. Clarify this page of cups. Tell me more about this person. The queen of pentacles. Okay. And the high priestess. 
you're going to want to use your, in, your intuition with this one. Because I think that when this person comes in, I feel like they're going to come in a little secretive. But I feel like this person already had an eye on you. They were just moving at a snail's pace. They were holding on to feelings for you. Give me another. The Six of Swords. <laughs> this is going to be moving. This is going to be moving pretty good. I feel like this person may be moving in. It may be moving a little faster than you thought. We have the the Ace of Wands. Definitely, definitely sparks flying with this person, especially on your side. I think you find this person very attractive. You find this new beginning in this person very, I want to say intriguing, but I also think it's a lot of excitement. And the Five of Cups. Is this going to stop as fast as it started? It's either going to stop as fast as it started. Or you're moving on from whatever you had just left behind. You're letting go of those cups and you're moving forward with the two cups in your hand. Maybe you're moving into a feeling of renewal. That's what I'm getting. There's a feeling of renewal. Yeah, what did I say? The Ten of Cups. So you got the Ten of Cups, the Sun. Whatever this is, as far as new love, I feel like it's going to bring excitement, joy, happiness. Whatever this is, it's moving you into a, a new cycle. You're moving from this ending and this stagnation. Stag yeah, you're moving from being stopped. <laughs> Let me put it that way. Because obviously I can't talk today. And you're moving into a new cycle. You're letting go of old conflicts. You're not letting worry hold you back anymore. You're walking away from that. And I feel like this person is moving forward too. Or this person could be moving in very quickly. Give me an outcome for the situation. Give me an outcome for the situation. We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Fool. This person wants to make things work with you. We have the Three of Cups on the bottom again. The outcome for the situation is it may take a little bit of work. I feel like you may need to get to know this person on a level that you will understand. Because I feel like there's a few things hidden that this person isn't revealing right away. But this person does want to move forward with you. They, they do have this immature love with you. So, I feel like you're going to be risking things to make things work. But I think that you're going to take the risk. Especially with the Sun and the Ten of Cups. I feel like you're going to take the risk here with this person. So, it does sound kind of exciting. Yeah, look at this. Oh, collective. What are you in for? And at the bottom, we have the Justice card. Things are finally balancing out. You have the Ace of Cups. So this, you have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So this is definitely something that's going to bring a lot of love and excitement into your life. You may also travel with this person. Or they may have, they may ask you to travel. Um, but like I said... Beware of those secrets a little bit. You may need to use your intuition when it comes to this person. Because I think that, you know, they are hiding something. 
What is this person hiding? Give me a message, Spirit. What is this person hiding? We have the Six of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. This person is hiding. This person has been hiding feelings. What did I say with the... Like she was holding on to something. Holding on to feelings. Holding on to... Her security. I feel like this person... Sees you as security. They see you as very stable. Very secure. Very independent. Very put together. Is what I'm feeling. And I feel like this person has been holding back a lot. They're not exactly telling you everything. That they feel about you. And I feel like. You know, we've, we've got the Ten of Cups. We've also got the Ten of Pentacles. Ten Ten may be very significant. Um, <laughs> wow. And we have the, the Page of Pentacles. So definitely the Three of Cups again. So that's the third time the Three of Cups has come out. So definitely the, there's going to be a lot of social events. There's going to be a lot of gatherings that you and this person attend. This could also be that this person wants to cooperate with a lot of your intentions. So I feel like there's a lot of working together, especially with that Eight of Pentacles. And this is going to be a new journey, a new, <laughs> a new adventure. Because I, that's exactly what I feel like it is. A new adventure with the world. The Ace of Wands. The Ace of Cups. The Fool. You know. So very interesting. At the bottom we have the Ace of Pentacles. So definitely something that has the potential. To be very stable and loving. And also bring excitement. And a feeling of renewal. Um, something that can be long lasting as well with the Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. So whoever this is coming in, my beautiful collective, I feel like has the potential to be the one. If that's what you're looking for. This has the potential to be the one. <laughs> the ace of wands so this is definitely coming in fast this may be moving pretty fast too but this person is going to put in a lot of effort with you this person is going to make you feel very loved very cherished i feel like this person is going to make you feel very special right the ace of pentacles again definitely definitely okay Let's go ahead and get some cards. What else do we need to tell the collective? What else do we need to tell the collective? You and your loved ones are safe. So it's safe to, this person is letting you know that it's safe to move forward with them. They could also be a cancer or you may have met this person during cancer season and nothing yet is is set in stone so you haven't completely made up your mind but i think you will and at the bottom we have don't let the past hold you back so my collective that's very interesting and i feel like you may have your doubts maybe that's the reason why the high priestess is here but i feel like this person is going to put in a lot of effort and i feel like spirit is letting you know that it's safe to it's safe to move on it's safe to open up your heart to love um and not to let the past hold you back <laughs> look at this luck is on your side okay so that is what I have for you, my collectives. So this is really beautiful. 
and I will see you on the next one. Many blessings, love, and light.